Hello listeners, I'm your host Rahul Sethi. I welcome you all to our next episode of Edelweiss FinTalk. Here we will discuss popular topics on finance. For this episode, we will be discussing an important topic, magic of compound interest. And I would like to welcome a seasoned finance professional, Mr. Akshay Puri, who's got more than 18 years of experience in this field. Akshay, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, Rahul. Thank you for inviting me to the Fin Talk. Pleasure to have you here. So, Akshay, what according to you is compounding? Rahul, compounding is a very simple and yet a very powerful concept. The uh, power of compounding is like a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. So, it starts very small, but it ends up very big. Okay. And can you simplify the snowball effect for our listeners? So a snowball is, as you know, it's a small ball of snow. Okay. And when you push that small ball down the hill. Sure. And uh, the ball starts gaining momentum. Mm. And the small ball starts getting accumulating. Bigger bigger. Yeah, it starts yeah. getting bigger and bigger. It mm. starts accumulating snow. Mm. So by mm. the time it reaches the foothill or the end of the journey, mm. that small ball turns into a huge, huge ball by gathering a lot of snow. Mm-hmm. So it's it's only a, a proverb or you can say it is it's a, a, it's a metaphor it's a metaphor where you mm-hmm. refer to compounding as a snowball effect and it explains it really well okay really interesting akshay so what according to you is the best way to take advantage of compounding for an investor i think for an investor it's important to start early mm-hmm. i think that is the key because when you start early you gain multiple years in hand mm-hmm. for your money to grow mm-hmm which helps you to reap the benefits of compounding. Mm -hmm. So the more the years you have in hand, Mm -hmm. that's the amount of extra time that you have to grow your money. So basically you give more runway for the snowball to become bigger and bigger. bigger bigger. Sure, got it. Akshay, so can you make things little clear for our listeners by some illustration or some example? I can do that. So let's assume both of us are in an investment journey. So Rahul and Akshay and Rahul as being very smart starts, starts very early. Mm-hmm. So Rahul starts at the age of 19 mm-hmm. and Akshay being a laggard decides to start at 27. Okay. okay. So Rahul starts at 19 and then he would like to invest up to the age of 27. So yeah. his investing years are just 9 years. From okay. That is from 19 to 27. Sure. So where Rahul invests 20,000 rupees every year. Mm-hmm. So over a period of those 9 years, okay, Rahul invests 20,000 a year which is equivalent to 1.8 lakhs. Mm-hmm for those nine years of investment. Sure. Okay. On the other hand, Akshay starts at 27 Mm -hmm. and he decides to invest up to 58 years of age. Okay. Okay. That is his retirement age. Okay. Okay. So Akshay is investing for 32 years Mm -hmm. at the same rate of 20,000 rupees per year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the difference is that Rahul is in invested for 9 and Akshay mm. is invested for 32 mm-hmm. but both of them retire at 58 okay okay mm-hmm. so the money which Akshay uh, Rahul has put in invested mm-hmm. which is 1.8 lakhs mm-hmm. is now invested for 39 years okay, okay. so that is mm-hmm. from 19th year to the 58th year sure so Rahul's investments have 39 years of investment journey mm-hmm. whereas Akshay invested from 27 to 58th year Okay. So Akshay's investments of 6.2 lakhs, which he's invested at 20,000 rupees per year, sure. is now in the journey for 31 years. Okay. So there's a mm-hmm. time gap of 8 years uh-huh. where Rahul's investments have been la- greater in terms of time value sure. vis-a-vis Akshay's investments. Sure. Now when we they both hit the 58th year, that is the mm-hmm. time for them to retire. Mm-hmm. Now let us assume that both Rahul and Akshay's investments grow at 8% per annum. Okay. Rahul lands up with 29.31 lakhs. Wow. Okay. Where he had invested how much? 1.8 lakhs. And Akshay lands up with 28.9 lakhs where he had invested 6.2 lakhs. Mm-hmm. So the multiple works like this. So Akshay makes 18x. Sorry. Rahul, Rahul made it. 18x of yeah. his investment. Whereas Akshay makes 4.6x of his investment. Okay, mm-hmm. so the age, you know, just eight years of a gap yeah. can actually multiply your investments by four Correct. times. Yeah, that's very interesting. So you have any last minute advice for our listeners here? I think now people should start investing early. Mm-hmm. I think they should make it a habit of investing. 
आई थिंक दे शुड स्टिक टू द प्रिंसिपल्स टू की प्रिंसिपल्स आर बींग कंसिस्टेंट इन योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड परसिस्टिंग विथ योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आई थिंक यू कीप योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लेट टाइम वैल्यू एड अ वैल्यू टू योर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड यू लैंड अप मेकिंग a sizable amount of return sure so let this snowball effect give you longer horizon to play true thanks a lot akshay i think you know it was very insightful i'm sure the listeners would gain a lot of insights from this discussion thanks once again thank you all thank you very much thank you guys for a patient listening so here we come to an end for this podcast stay tuned we have some interesting topics coming in in the subsequent weeks and we look forward to your feedback you can suggest topics and we'll try and cover them in the next episodes Thanks a lot. The details and investment tips expressed by the expert in the podcast are his personal views. We advise you all to check with your certified financial advisors before taking any investment decisions. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.